Fun fact, this was my very first hero that I ever brought up 270 that's in green, and I actually regretted it for quite some time, and Zero made fun of me a lot for it. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Skittle Skull, the beautiful bog witch. She's gracing our presence today. Let me know in the comments. Have you had an ex-girlfriend that looks like her? I don't know what that's like, but I want to make fun of you guys if you do. She's got 728 on her attack, 605 on her defense, and 969 on her health. Statistically, the attack power is pretty good. Defense is eh. The health total is eh. Probably need some work on the defense. She is running at slow speed. She's part of the classic heroes. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. If you want a huge head start, all you gotta do, hit the link in the description. If you're a new player, you'll get one day XP boost, three Raid Flasks, one Ancient Shard, one Void Champion Bulwark, and 50 gems. All your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. As far as our hero specials go, she deals 175% damage to all enemies, and all enemies get minus 34% attack for six turns. Fun fact, this was my very first hero that I ever brought up 270 that's in green, and I actually regretted it for quite some time, and Zero made fun of me a lot for it. As far as her hero specials, it's pretty decent. They've worked on her a little bit over some time. I do like the 34% attack for six turns, dealing damage to everybody. Obviously, the biggest issue is she's running at slow speed. She is a sorcerer class emblem hero, which means if you're throwing some emblems on her, you definitely want to focus a bit on the defense, and the health total is really low. I do like the attack power. It depends on how you're going to use her. You probably want to go a little bit more of a balanced approach. When we look at her Titan grade, she is going to get a B plus grade there. The only reason why she does get a B plus grade is because she has pretty decent tiles at 728. And then the biggest thing is going to get the minus 34% attack for six turns. Now, there are definitely a lot better heroes that are in green that are going to help out in terms of giving the attack power a decrease, such as heroes like Buddy, as well as like Kingston. Those are pretty good, but it could be serviceable if you don't have a hero that fits in like that. Um, so the biggest and only reason is going to have decent attack power and then also giving the minus 34% attack for six turns. That's why she's got the B plus grade there. On offense, she is going to get a B plus grade as well. Uh, it's really weird to see that Skittle Skull is actually kind of useful. Uh, I remember she was long revered as one of the worst heroes that they ever did, but they definitely balanced her out a little bit, definitely made her a lot more usable. She is running at slow speed and the damage isn't that great, but I do love the fact that she's giving the 34% decrease for six turns. That is quite annoying and trying to battle through. It has happened to me, but I do like using it on offense because you can pair her with a bunch of other heroes. And if you're running at slow speed, it really allows you to kind of save yourself and you get to live it out. She's going to be a B plus grade there. Now, when we take a look at her defensive grade, she is going to get a B minus as far as the tank grade goes. The biggest reason is her defensive stats aren't that great. She is running at slow speed, so that does help out and then dealing damage and then giving the minus 34% attack for six turns. Now, keep in mind, if she does go off, it is going to be definitely beneficial with her having the minus 34% attack for six turns, and that's pretty much the biggest reason why you'd probably want to use her. The problem is that she's very fragile and she could die pretty quickly. That's why she's got the B minus grade there. Same thing, very similar in the flank grade. She is going to get a B minus as well. With her running at slow speed, I do like that she impacts all of the board dealing damage as well as giving the attack decrease on all of the enemies, but I still see her as being a little bit fragile to really handle that. Now where I see that there might be some usage, could definitely be in the wing, with her having a little bit more of a developed board if she's going off late game, giving the minus 34% attack for six turns, uh, applying to all enemies, I think that that could be useful. So overall, defensively, she is going to get a B grade. There is some usage. I think maybe you could probably throw in the wing, 
Maybe I got it wrong. Let me know in the comments. Defensively, is she best in the wing? Where do you think that she fits in? Now, when we look at her weekly raid grade, she is going to get a B plus on rush attack. This is very close to an A minus A. I really do appreciate this hero quite a bit. Running at very fast speed, setting it up so she's getting the minus 34% attack for six turns. I think that there could be a lot of usage there. Now, when we look at her buff grade, she is going to get an A grade. I do like that she's setting it up so she's taking out the major thing that they're going to be doing, which is increasing the attack, especially on buff, and then she's impacting all the board for six turns. So if they have anything that's increasing their attack power, she's going to decrease it, which gives it a negative side effect on buff. Really helpful. She is going to get the A grade there. And when we look at her bloody battle grade, she is going to get a B plus dealing damage to everybody and then also saving your heroes by giving them attack power decrease is going to be really useful her biggest thing that goes against her is with her running at slow speed so that's going to impact her grade quite a bit so she is going to get an overall grade of a b plus maybe i give her a little bit too much credit possibly but i do appreciate this hero maybe going into a b i don't really see her exceeding over a b plus into the a minus range but there's still a lot of usage for her so Thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, you turn those notifications on, and I'll see you on the next one.